New Jersey man flies to Florida to attack gamer over online dispute. Sheriff says, I'm in American. Oh my. What? You flew to Florida just, just to attack a <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> All right. What in the gaming world? A New Jersey man allegedly takes cyberbullying to a whole other level. Please say this man, 20 year old Edward Kang, flew to. Oh my God, why does it have to be Chinese? Why does it be. Why does that be Asian? Oh man, he looks like he's my cousin. Oh my God. Cousin Kang. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, cousin Kang? Oh my God, man! Dude, this 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 guy looks like my cousin, man. Oh my! Oh my God, dude! Flew all the way to Florida because someone probably called him the the gamer word. Go to Florida to attack another gamer with a hammer. Oh my! For an God. online dispute. News Nation's Xavier Walton joining us live. What? Xavier, this is so bizarre. What is law enforcement saying about this? Yeah, law enforcement calling this investigation a weird one, shaking their heads. Here's the suspect again at the center of it all. Authorities say 20-year-old Edward Kang flew from oh New Jersey God, to Florida, dude. like you just mentioned, to attack another 20-year-old with a hammer over an online gaming dispute. The sheriff. Were they playing league? Deputies discovered. Were they playing league or Valorant? Arrived, the victim's stepdad told authorities he found Kang, the gentleman you're seeing, armed with a hammer and his stepson in a struggle. And authorities say the two only knew each other from this video game. That real life altercation, though, happened just outside of Jacksonville, Florida. So, so oh, a real head scratcher here. Real head scratcher. So many questions. Did the sheriff say anything about what this dispute was about? Did the suspect say I don't anything worth it. noting to? Uh, Did he scream his hammer time? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. To your first question, short answer: No. Authorities are still trying to figure out. Why? Why what, did this what game, game were they playing in Florida though? to carry out this attack with the hammer? However, the suspect did tell investigators the other gamer was a bad person online. So yeah. that's what they said. Here's a picture of the hammer. Authorities say Kang used in that real life attack. He was dressed in all black, wearing black mask and gloves. The oh sheriff did God. say Kang, you know what, didn't answer too many of their questions. However, according to the um, arrest report, Kang spoke to his mother. And when he did during that conversation, King reportedly admitted to the to hitting the victim in the head with the hammer, but he also told her, this is again the mother, he did not go there to kill the victim. King charged with attempted secondary murder and armed burglary with a mask. As far as the victim, he suffered some serious or severe head oh wounds, but non life threatening injuries. But Hannah, this is just one of those stories you gotta, you know, it's almost like it's unbelievable what actually played out. I had to reread it because I just couldn't believe what I was reading. Great reporting, Xavier. Thank oh you so my. much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage. I, I don't. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. He probably like teabagged him in like Call of Duty or something like that. Oh my God. He teabagged him, got so mad. All right, he's Asian. Okay. And he's like, he literally looks like my cousin, one of my cousins, but just lighter skin. I would say he's probably playing League or Valorant. Like that, I, if he's being, okay, here's the thing, in, in, in Call of Duty, you can't really talk to people unless you're in the lobby, but I'm even current day COD, I'm not sure you can even do that anymore. But like, let's say if you're a team member, like you, I can see people, him getting mad in League and in Valorant. It's a Korean MMORPG. Oh, it's, oh my God, dude.